Well, now, thankfully through warm and toasty, I can ref- ref- reflect quite a lot. What it is about is talking about your memories. And this is what's helped me tremendously because I lost my memories. I lost all my childhood memories. And um, this warm and toast has helped me because people have turned around and said they do such a, such and such a thing. And it's clicked in my head because I used to do the same thing. So it's been a tremendous help. And it's fun. You know, we can, we can have fun. I've had a lot of things going on in my life. And I wish to God I could remember them all. I can write a book. Well, I was born in Kingsbury, and then we moved to a place called Tyler's Gate in in the middle of Preston Road, Preston uh, shops and Kingsbury shops in the middle, and Wembley just down the road. And then I went in the army in. 1962, would you believe, on my mother's birthday. <laughs> uh, she didn't like that. And I left in 1966, came out in 1966, uh, four years. Uh, it's, um, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that. It was, uh, it was hard, mind you, but um, it was good. I mean, I met a few mates. We got together after the, uh, we came out of the army and we had a celebration and a um, party and what have you and that was it and we just went down the road. But none of us had seatbelts on because it wasn't, uh, wasn't law then. Because uh, all I know is that I had a car accident and my, my mate from the army died. When I came round I didn't even know who I was. I mean, talking to people was terrible because um, when I first came out, there was more mumbles than words. But um, I learned over the years, that, you know, how to talk slowly and think of what you're saying. I should do it now, but I don't. So yeah, it's uh, not a nice thing. My jobs, my favorite jobs I've had was, uh, I worked at, um, oh God. Marshall's amplification. I worked there for a few years, and that was that was absolutely brilliant. That was that was wonderful. And I worked in a hotel, I think it's going to be Aerial Hotel. Used to work there for a few years doing split shifts because I am a well, I was a chef. And then what did we, what happened then? I can't remember. Well, I know we moved to Clacton anyway. That's right. I started. Bingo calling. Went for an interview for a bingo caller, and I got the job. And they wanted a bingo caller in Clatsen, so I asked my wife, you know, if she wanted to move. She said, well, "Yeah, fine." So we did. We moved to Clatsen, and then of course I had a argument with my wife, and that was it. I was out the door, and I met my second wife, and my life then was uplifted, seriously uplifted because she did everything that I wanted to do and I did everything that she wanted to do and it was great. So yeah, we did karaoke, quite a lot of karaoke, hell of a lot. We used to play bingos, go to bingos. We used to go bowling. All them trophies in the cabinet over there, some bowling. Every one of them. We, did, we won every trophy that was going. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's uh, brilliant. Ten years of bowling, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic it was. Oh yeah, it was uh, my first second wife was uh, wonderful. She really was. Yeah. Oh, I only had twenty one. I only had twenty one years with her. She died at the age of fifty three. So very young. And then of course I moved here, Colchester. I came to this place. I struggled at first. I really did struggle at first. But um, I think it was warm and toasty that made me settle down. Look at face it. This estate is full of old people. And, you know, what are they going to do? Sit in their flats all day when they could come to us for two hours in the afternoon. You know, and enjoy it. 
because it is joy. Because you get entertainment as well. You get entertainment. <laughs> To go to warm and toasty, it helps tremendously. I mean, people have said things like um, uh, going on a holiday at, um, in Kent, and that tweaked, that tweaked me about the, um, the hot picking. Really made it in it's my mind. Probably cold by now. Hmm. Oh, it isn't. That's nice. The boss, Jono, said he, you know, he was looking for helpers, so I volunteered. And I've never looked back. It's brilliant. Fantastic. I've had nearly two years, so it's great. I've loved it. I'm looking forward to it. You sit virtually sort of in a circle or an oblong, and then and from there, you know, you, you ask them, you know, what they did when they was young, what they have, the way they worked, or how they played, and it was, you know, really, really good questions, and the answers are fantastic. They really are, and and I love it. So that is my life now. Is uh, the warm and toasty. <laughs> it's not often I talk about my past life because it's. Um, It's hard to talk about my past life. It's uh, quite emotional. But um, I love. And my idea is hopefully that um, every day I can make somebody laugh. That is my philosophy. Every day I've got to make somebody laugh. And if I do that, my day is complete. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good, and my tea is cold. <laughs>